interior door handle here. You see his mines is broke off here. So I'm about to change that out. You only have to remove one screw to get this door handle off. Phillips head screw right here. There's usually a little cover over that screw. Mine broke off years ago. Here's what that cover looks like. This is on the passenger side. Take a flathead screwdriver and then you can pry it open or break it off like I just did. And that gives you access to the Phillips head screw. Remove that and you push the handle to the right. And then there's a little clip here. You can use your, either use your thumb or just your even your Phillips screwdriver. Just push that clip off the rod, and then the rod uh, flips up and out. Okay, and then your power door lock, if you have power door locks, you just press down on this little tab here. Okay, and unhooks. If you're replacing your handle instead of repairing it and you have power door locks, you're going to need to take this switch off the old handle and install it on the new. There are two Phillips head screws that hold that switch on. So you take it off the old, put it on the new, and then you're good to go. But here's the new handle from 1A Auto. You can see it's going to go in there all the same. It is a little bit different gray, but actually the gray matches the gray in the car a little better. So we'll go ahead and install that. I'm going to snap the wiring harness for the door locks back in. The metal rod that goes to the lock just slides right back down into that hole. Then that little bracket spins around to the left and snaps over the rod. And those three little plastic posts go in through the holes in the metal door frame and then slide it just a little bit to the left so they'll catch. And also sliding it left should line up that screw hole. Get that screw back in tight. Try to lock control. Make sure that's working, which it is. 